Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we will learn how to set up, install and run PHP and Visual Studio Code on Windows 11. So let's start. So first I will go to this uh, browser, open this and here I will search for PHP. Now click on this first link and here click on downloads and from here you can, I have a window machine so I will go down to this uh, Windows downloads and here we have two versions of PHP. Uh, non thread save and thread save so we will learn, download this thread save php so it will take some time to download so i will pass the video so now our php is downloaded so i'll click on this and show in folder now i'll right click on this and uh, i'll extract all extract so now it is extracted so i'll uh, rename this i'll uh, rename this up to this php add find four and now i'll cut this from here and now we will go to this pc and c and we will paste it here paste it right here now we have php so now we will go to uh, visual studio code and we will uh, install some extensions so i'll go here so now here we will install two uh, extensions in this uh, visual studio code first we will go to these extensions and we will install a search here for a php server now it is this first one and uh, install this now php server is installed now i'll close this and we will search here for uh, php and daily pens and which is down right here this one by bin and now we can install this so i'll click on this install so now to uh, work this uh, extension we have to go down and there is an instruction for disabling the built-in php uh, built-in php uh, feature so uh, you can see go to extensions search for at built-in php so i'll copy this control c this and now i'll control v it here and now it has uh, such this php language feature and i will disable this. we will create a new file here so i'll go to this file explorer and here i'll click on new and i'll search for uh, write and text dot p PHP and hit enter now the PHP file is created and now here I'll use PHP and uh, enter and now I'll close the PHP tag and now here we will use uh, echo hello from PHP and now I'll put semicolon now control is this now I'll right click on this and uh, PHP server is not appearing so we will reload the uh, Visual Studio code so for that I will close this and now I'll reload again so now to run this project right click on this and uh, php server project so now it shows this error php not found and now i'll go to the folder where we have uh, installed our php this pc and c and from here i'll go to this php and now i'll copy this path from here Control c this and now i'll uh, go here right click on this and uh, system and uh, here we will go down to one system settings environment variable and now i'll uh, click here uh, on the path this one and we will create new and here uh, not new i'll edit this path i'll click on this edit this and now i'll click new and here i will paste this and click ok and ok and click ok now i'll close this and i'll close this as well this one as well and now i'll right click and i'll use php saw project it is still saying the php not found so i'll reload this again i'll right click on this and php saw project and now you can see it to open the browser and we yeah, printed this uh, hello from php i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you